I've now left Girona and I'm on my way to Andorra with the bags fully packed on the bike again. And it's crazy to think in life you accumulate lots of stuff. And it's not until you get on the bike, you have to repack all your stuff, that you realize that you've got way too much stuff. Just being passed by a bunch of pros. I hung on as long as I could. But with these gravel tires and all the bags, and obviously not being a pro, oh, popped, bang, hit the wall. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. about 20 kilometers to go uphill. That's where I'm stopping tonight. And another change, so since crossing the border, the signs that say give cyclists space have gone from 1.5 meters in Spain to two meters in Andorra. i 
Andorra on my way to Paris is quite a bit of a detour and adds a lot of climbing but I'm so glad I've done it because the roads are immaculate here I've not seen a single pothole yet the roads are just have the most amazing views and yeah it's just stunning but you can really tell like as soon as I got in from Spain it was just like you could tell the wealth of the country just with the shops and the just this road surface I should be in France in about 10 kilometers <laughs> I should get to Toulouse uh, this evening and possibly get a hotel. So I'm just looking at the weather forecast and it's looking a bit iffy for the next couple of days with rain and 40 mile an hour crosswinds tomorrow. Which I could push myself through and, and do that, but I'm not sure I really want to. I'll just make myself ill. I'd rather just enjoy riding the bike and I kind of want to go and get a tour around the, the Hutchinson factory and if I can time that during the week uh, I might be able to sort that out it's about 100 kilometers south of Paris and if I rode the whole way I wouldn't get to Paris until the weekend and then Saturday's absolutely torrential rain in Paris and there's no real reason to prove myself and push myself I'd just be doing it for um, no reason really so I might just cheat a little bit get a train uh, up to Paris take a few days rest and, and then I'm flying out to Madeira for a week of the last bit of sun before I go from Paris to Calais and get the, the ferry back to England and then that'll be trip done and my big circuit of Europe. So yeah, I'll, I'll have a bit of a think and I'm not gonna 
just ride for the sake of riding. Well, it's started to rain. I think it's cemented my idea of getting the train. And uh, yeah, it's just, I've really noticed the drivers in France. After being in Catalonia and Andorra, where the drivers are absolutely lovely. They give you so much space. Yeah, I've had a couple of close passes. And you, you just notice it. I have not had close passes for a long time since I've been in Spain. I bivied outside a shop last night and I've now talked myself into cycling to Paris again. But I'm gonna take a really easy day today, rest up a bit, have some food and then go again tomorrow. <laughs> Now gone five o'clock and I've set out on the toes and I've purposely left casual clothing on so I don't go hard and then I take it easy today and then I can push on the next two days. I spent the day eating lots of food, avoiding the rain and just generally chilling. <laughs> Today was meant to be a bit drier, but it's still pretty wet. Um, struggling to find a boulangerie as well, because my route's not really taking me through any main towns. So my breakfast has been luchos, which is great, but uh, it'd be quite nice to, to get something a bit more substantial. So I'll put my rain jacket on, get back out there and get wet. <laughs> roads are now dry which certainly helps with the head I've got about 470k to get to Paris and then about 70k to get to Limoges well I'll grab some food have a bit of a break and then keep on trucking because don't want to get caught in that that rain on Saturday but if, if it worse comes to worse I can hunker down on Saturday and then push on again Sunday I was going to ride a bit further into the night last night but then I got pretty cold so I decided to get in my sleeping bag and see if I could warm up that way and I was I was I was warm body wise but my my feet were freezing so this morning I uh, I put my uh, another pair of socks on and then I'm using my knee warmers as leg warmers I pretty much got all my layers on, my down jacket, my coat, my gilet. Stopped in a boulangerie to warm the feet up and uh, get going again. But yeah, it's, it's not pleasant riding in winter temperatures with summer kit. Because I planned, like, the whole of the rest of the trip's been in scorching heat. 
and now into European winter. So yeah, let's just keep on going to Paris and I think I'm going to take it easier over the next three days and do less distance and then stop in hotels and get warm in the evenings. But yeah, that's the plan and should be in Paris by Sunday. I'm now riding into Orléans and that means about 70 miles from Paris and stopped at a hotel last night, well, motel, just to, to get some uh, good quality rest because the night before I was just so cold. I feel a bit more refreshed but it's raining uh, which is not going to be the most pleasant ride but I'm going to get, get into the centre of Orléans and get some food and uh, see if I can wait out the rain a little bit and then crack on and if worst comes to worst if I do 35 miles today and then 35 miles tomorrow or just push on today I'll just see how I feel now about 20k from Paris and I've had a bit of a cross headwind uh, ready to get there ready to have an orangina <laughs> I'm pretty much in Paris now and it's not very far to the couch that I'm sleeping on tonight
I've had a shower, I'm on a different bike, and I'm riding through Paris.